In this video, we'll be covering the present tense verb conjugations in Brazilian Portuguese for regular verbs. So just like Spanish, almost all verbs in Portuguese end in AR, ER, or IR. Most verbs follow the regular conjugation patterns we'll be covering in this video, but there is a smaller group of irregular verbs which have their own unique conjugations. Starting with the present tense verb endings for AR verbs, you can see just how similar they look on paper. What makes them different is how they're pronounced. Let's take the verb pagar to pay, for example. In Spanish, I pay is yo pago. In Portuguese, it's eu pago. Notice how the O in Portuguese is pronounced with a U sound. So I finish would be eu termino. I speak, eu falo. I study, eu estudo. The O is pronounced U as in nu. Then he pays in Portuguese is ele paga. Notice how that final A is pronounced with a U uh sound as in the word Cuba. Paga. Which is different from the A sound in the Spanish word paga. So he finishes would be ele termina. He speaks, ele fala. He studies, ele estuda. The final A is pronounced a uh, as in Cuba. We pay is nós pagamos. Once again, the A is pronounced a uh, as in Cuba, and the O is pronounced like a U, so it's pagamos. Compare that to pagamos in Spanish. We finish would be nós terminamos. We speak, nós falamos. We study, nós estudamos. Now, the third person plural ending is one that trips a lot of people up. They pay is eles pagam. This AM in Portuguese is pronounced with a nasal um sound. Pagam, not pagam. They finish would be eles terminam. They speak, eles falam. They study, eles estudam. So summarizing the present tense verb endings for regular AR verbs using paga as an example, we have pagu, the O pronounced with the U sound, paga, the A pronounced a uh, as in Cuba, pagamos, and then pagam, the AM pronounced with the nasal um sound. Now the endings for ER and IR verbs are the same except in the NOS form, where ER verbs take on the emus ending, and IR verbs take on the emus ending. Taking the verb vive to live as an example, we see that the verb ending in the first person singular is the same as in AR verbs. So I live would be eu vivo. The O again pronounced like a U. She lives is ela vive. Notice how the E is pronounced differently from Spanish. Compare ella vive in Spanish versus ela vive. So the E sounds like an I. For example, she eats would be ela come. She writes, ela escreve. She opens, ela abre. Now here in the first person plural is where the endings for ER and IR verbs are different. For ER verbs, the ending is emus. So we live is nos vivemos. Notice how the O is pronounced like a U. And then for IR verbs like abri to open, the ending is imus, as in nos abrimos. In the third person plural, they live is elis vivem. The EM is pronounced with a nasal ang sound. I know it's tempting to say vivem where your lips touch at the end, but it's vivem. Lips never touch at the end. So they eat is eles comem. They write, eles escrevem. They open, eles abrem. So summarizing the present tense verb endings for regular ER verbs using vive as an example, we have vivo, the O pronounced with a U sound, Vivi, the E pronounced like an I. Vivemos, the O and Emos also pronounced like a U. And then Vivem, the E-M pronounced with the nasal ang sound. 
then the verb endings for IR verbs are the same as ER verbs, except in the first person plural nos form, which take on the imus ending. With the verb abrir, you have abro, abri, abrimus, and abrem. So that's it. You now know how to conjugate regular verbs in the present tense in Portuguese. As you saw, even though the conjugations look just like Spanish in writing, the pronunciation is really what sets it apart. And it's paying attention to these little differences that will make you sound like a legit Portuguese speaker. If you enjoyed this video, let me know by hitting that like button and subscribing. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Obrigado por assistir e até a próxima. Tchau!